Ooh, we actually hit it. Nice. On zero seconds. That's pretty cool. Nice. All right, so this is going to be for the YouTube channel now. We're analyzing two games from Flakes. I love to watch pro games because you can learn a lot from watching people who are better than you play the game. And because I really like Flakes's play style and I try to implement Flakes's play style myself as much as possible when I play. But the question is, does Flakes's play style work at the highest level? And I think he's around, uh, I think he's around 1900 MMR in this replay. So we'll be able to see is Flakes's sort of slow, smart, safe, passive play style effective at higher ranks. Because I don't want to implement a play style that has no business. Oops, my bad. I don't want to implement a play style that doesn't even work at the higher levels. You know what I mean? Um, and I, I don't think this is a replay bug because everybody else's camera settings look normal. <laughs> Blake's, for whatever reason in this game, has super, super close camera settings. Going to be kind of annoying to watch. But um, yeah, let's see how this goes. How Flakes plays this out. Already a really good kickoff to start off. Dude. Wait. How? How are you playing with these camera settings, Flakes? There's no way. There's no way these are this man's camera settings. Well, we'll, uh, we'll roll with it. See how it goes. Maybe this was like a troll. Maybe during one of his streams he like got there to use some weird camera settings. Why though? Why would you use these cameras? You can't see anything. This has to be a troll. Oh, that's good old flakes. Power slide cut attempt. I'm just fascinated right now by his camera settings. You can't think that these are good for any aspect of the game. <laughs> That's actually worth using this. We've got two replays we're analyzing. So we'll see in the other one if his camera settings are also this close. Wow. Flakes doing what Flakes does and not playing like the norm not playing standard rocket league with that kickoff very interesting kickoff but it did well to neutralize the ball in the middle his teammate set him up and he finished an open net very unstandard gameplay the very unstandard outcome <laughs> actually scoring <laughs> The only reason I could see Flakes wanting to use camera settings like this is to have a better vision of where, how, how far his opponents are from the ball and being able to see what his opponents are doing on the ball when they're further, when the play is further away. Like with this camera settings, you can see what the other players are doing even when they're all the way across the entire field. You can practically see which way their wheels are turned all the way across the field with these camera settings. <laughs> The downside is obviously in a lot of scenarios you can't see a lot of the field and a lot of your car to make certain situations easier. So while somebody at Flakes' experience and level doesn't necessarily need to be able to see his full car in every situation in order to make a play, or doesn't need to be able to see the entire field to just know where people are based on game sense, I think the value of those two things outweighs the value of being able to see what your opponents are doing across the entire field. So I don't, I don't see like that. I feel like he could have reacted faster to that had he had a wider camera field of view. He'd be able to have seen where that shot was coming from sooner and gotten up to block it faster. Yeah, so far Flakes hasn't really done any, you know, Flakes-esque 
sort of moves. He attempted one power slide cut and it got blocked. Since then, he's just been playing pretty, you know, passive gameplay. Smart gameplay for sure, but he hasn't really juked out the other team like you would expect to see from his YouTube channel and YouTube videos. I haven't really seen any jukes. He does get a nice flick over the first guy, catches the second guy grabbing boost. And that's just a free goal. I wish people in my lobbies did that at 1500. 1500? That would be shut down instantly. <laughs> 1500s are better than 1900s confirmed. Interesting, interesting. Not a good touch by Flakes. No matter what way you slice it there. Alright, Yagi got a... Oh, no. There's the opponent. See, I can even see that Jay Walls was back with these camera settings. Hello? What's the play here, Flaky? Well, that's way over. See, with these camera settings, you can't... You couldn't even tell that Flakes was turned around. You couldn't even see his car at all in that upwards camera angle position. Wow, very, very patient defense there from Flakes. I feel like he could have challenged that sooner. We're going to go back. We haven't gone back at all yet this replay when we probably could have, but like right here, I mean, yeah, he's he's waiting because Jay Walls could make another touch, pretend that he has no boost here, and then as Flakes goes, he, he accelerates into the ball and gets it past him. So actually really smart play from Flakes. But I, I do feel like this was challengeable. If you just challenge high enough on this ball, there's really no way he's going to get it over you. If you challenge this just slightly over the midline of the ball, there's really no way J-Walls gets this past you. But anyways, carry on, carry on. Really good positioning there by Flakes. Let me pull out the epic pen. Should have had this open and ready to go. But I really like this positioning. Just going to point it out for anyone who might be able to benefit from this tip. After the ball goes into the corner here and he turns the shadow defend, he knows his teammate is on the ground in the net. So he's not going to also go onto the ground here as he retreats back into the net. He's going to go onto the back wall. That way his teammate's covering the ground option. That way, his teammates covering the ground option can challenge. And if he gets flicked to the backboard, Flakes just drives up the backboard and gets the clear. But if Flakes was down on the ground over here, as soon as his teammate gets beat, he's also beat. Because the ball is going to be too high going too fast. Because he took the, the backboard here, he's able to save a flick that gets possibly past his teammate. Tries to control it and gets smacked in his ass. <laughs> He's up one, just trying his best not to concede here. This is gonna be awkward. Wow. <laughs> that looked like it went through his car on our screen, but again, you can't but feel like that read wouldn't be so awkward if Flakes just wasn't using these camera settings. I I just feel like this has to be a one-and-done sort of thing with these camera settings. Alright, interesting, interesting. Also really interesting, not the best way Flakes could have uh, cleared this ball. If he uses a diagonal flip here, like a twist flick, he can save a lot of boost. He can use the flip in order to stay with the ball and not have to use, he just used about like 
Wait, let's go back and see how much. He's at 100. He's at 89 boost. By the time he catches up to the ball, he's at 33. He uses 50 boost just to catch up to the ball. But if he uses a twist flick there, or a twist flip, which is pretty much just a diagonal flip that you cancel and then uncancel at the last second. Uh, he would have used maybe like 15 boost to stay with that ball. Uh, <laughs> very interesting, very interesting. Alright, um... I mean, Flex is trying to go for a pass here. But audio cues, if he has his audio turned on at all, you should hear that his teammates are right behind him. Passes to nobody. And this is, again, the real flakes. Confirmed on ballchasing.com that it, he had the pro tag, pro player tag. Um, Went to his Liquipedia page off of the ballchasing.com link, and it took me to Flakes' page. Uh, honestly, this game, not super impressed with Flakes' gameplay. Definitely a consistent, solid player. Even in this game, he looks like he's consistent and solid. But... He looks consistent and solid for a 1500 level player. Like, he'd be somebody that I wouldn't mind having on my team in 15, 1600s. But at 1900s, I uh, expect a lot more. Not that you need to be a flashy player or nothing like that to get to 1900s, but like, what is going on in these games? Blake's going up to maybe get a block or an, a shot that might be coming in. That's what it looks like to me there. Oh my. Little double jump pop to try to accelerate the ball there. I'm really hoping Flakes finds a way to win this game because I want to see how he would potentially win this game playing the way that he is. <laughs> that sounds like I'm shitting on Flakes and I kind of am. Love his videos, love his content, but thoroughly unimpressed with this performance right now. Could be a chance. On a 1v1, Flakes and a 1v1, you uh, you feel pretty good if you're his teammate there, having Flakes in a 1v1, but I guess it ends up being a 2v1. And uh, yeah, I guess he wins the 1v1 situation because he technically didn't score, but he did set up his teammate. Flakes wasn't fast enough to get up. And that's the game. Okay, let's hop in right away to game number two. 
and see if Flakes is still rocking these crazy camera set crazy camera settings. Hopefully not. Oh, and that's right. He was in a lobby with J Naps, J Walls, and Astral. And these are better camera settings. Okay, so I don't know what was up with those camera settings. Must have been his Twitch chat or something. Somebody donating so he uses weird camera settings. Let's see how he looks with, you know, more normal camera settings here. Let's see how this goes. Already trying to take a nice 50-50, a strong, clean 50. That's more of what you expect to see from Flakes. That's a really good, that's good speed art. Right, this game already looks so much better. Replay's a little laggy. Misses the boost, unfortunately, or else he probably would have been able to challenge that ball. Now, is Flakes lagging because he's playing in this lobby with these North American players? Or is this just a replay lag? I think it's just replay lag. That's a nice finish. Nice finish. Just commits to the shot, ignores the defense, and gets rewarded for it. They come up short on the clear. I'm wondering when this game was played, because there's Astral and Flakes who are for sure European players, but then there's also JNAPs. Is JNAPs actually the only one who's lagging in this lobby? Okay, so it's JNAPs. I guess J-Walls. I've never I've heard of J-Walls, don't really know too much about him. Frag and Kev must also all be European players, because JNAPs is the only one lagging in this game. JNAP's getting picked up for some EU games. No wonder he's so cracked, bro. He's the only one out here grinding in North America. Not only is he grinding on North American soil, he's grinding on European soil. He's grinding day in and day out. All day, all night. Yeah, Flakes looks way better now with these camera settings. Good. Good, I'm real glad to see it. Real glad to see it. Okay. Again, though, just like game in the first game we watched, I mean, Flake's just playing real standard Rock League, and that's all you need to do, even at the highest level. Like he always says in his YouTube videos, you don't have to freaking flip reset and ceiling shot and whatnot to get wins. All you gotta do is just hit the ball. Uh, hit the ball the direction you should hit the ball, and you're all good. You're all good, really. You don't need flashy mechanics. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, they help. Yeah, they're cool. And they can make some situations scorable that aren't scorable otherwise. But all Flakes has done so far this game is jump at the ball, position and rotate properly. And then he's it's 3-0. Now that's a bad touch, <laughs> but what can you do? You can't be perfect all the time. Flake's gonna be last man for a minute here. Oh, barely escaping out and scave. Yeah, I mean, don't really love that hit by Flakes. Kind of just gives it back to his opponents, which is something he preaches not doing. I feel as though, uh, I don't know. Maybe Flakes is trying to get back into the pro scene and, ooh. You know, a lot of people gave him crap for the way he tried to play the game. Slowing down the plays too much. Slowing down the ball in order to keep possession. 
maybe he's trying to turn a new leaf and hey if people say just boom the ball then he's just gonna boom the ball you'd hate to see that because flakes his community loves flakes for his play style or the way he approaches the game so for him to give that up would be a little bit of a bummer but uh, who knows? We're just analyzing, you know, two games here. Nah, I can't really make that call. That's what he's actually doing. Oh. Alright, up two with 30 seconds left. They're starting to... Starting to not try as hard, not play as safely let loose a little bit miss read off the backboard real close but just got too far in front of it Five seconds left. Yeah, honestly, Flakes, um, based on this analysis, this review, I'm going to be completely honest. The second game was a lot better than the first game, but does not look like he's ready to return to the uh, the pro scene anytime soon. If I'm being honest. Um, Flakes, if you're watching this, love your content, man. Love your mentality on the game and your, your play style. But, um, yeah, I don't know if you try it. You're planning on returning to the pro scene anytime soon. You are here doing some scrims with some professional players. Um, but it's looking a little iffy right now. It's looking a little iffy. Not sure how serious these, uh, scrims were taken. But, you know, let me, let me know what you guys thought of these games in the comments. And let me know, maybe you watch you watch Flakes play on stream more than I do. I rarely get to catch Flakes stream. He rarely streams to begin with. Mainly just watches YouTube videos. And those are all usually Smurf videos where he's playing lower ranked players anyways. So yeah, I, I haven't uh, seen a lot of recent gameplay from Flakes. So just based on this review, I don't know. It looked like he was about a, maybe a GC3 level player, honestly. Looked more consistent and had better speed, I would say, than a GC2, which is the rank I'm in. But uh, some of the, some, still, just some of the plays weren't very optimal and just kind of looked like GC3 gameplay to me. Very consistent and fast pace, which tells me GC3 kind of level, um, but not very optimal gameplay. So I don't know, that's just my opinion. Let me again know what you guys think in the comments below when you see this on YouTube. And yeah, that's our analysis on Flakes. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure, leave a like on the video for me. It's free, helps the video get recommended to more people and I really appreciate it. And subscribe for new content in the future like this. And you can also let me know in the comments who you want me to do next. I think I'm actually gonna do Arsenal next. Arsenal is always a hot topic, so I need to do Arsenal next. Plus, Daniel, if you didn't hear, Daniel's grounded and can't participate in the next freaking like major or whatever. I forget what it was, but that's funny. All right, see you guys in the next video. Make sure to come to the Twitch channel. Link is down below in the description. Be here for the next video just like this. See you guys in the next one. Peace.